Guys, there are many of you that are doing the things of God, doing the works of God, and you feel unworthy. You feel unworthy or you question the validity of your walk in Christ because of how your children are, because of how your children, maybe uh, there's a few or some of them have gone in a different direction. They're rebellious. They are doing a lot of things. They're breaking the law. They're getting in trouble at school and you're being called up to the school and people know about it. And so you begin to question your faith. You begin to question where you're at with Christ. God, why are you allowing my son or my daughter or both or all of them to do this? And I hear God saying, it's choice. It's choice. Nothing you do is going to override the choice of your children. You know, in Samuel, Samuel chapter eight, Samuel chapter eight, Samuel was a righteous man. From the time he was being raised up in the temple by Eli, he was a man of God. He followed after God. He never went to the left or to the right. Yet when he had sons, they came out and, uh, and they were just doing their own things. They did not follow God. They were doing wrong things. They were accepting bribes as judges. They were complaining to the people. You can almost imagine maybe how some of the people were thinking. How did his son come out like this? What's the problem? What's going on? But guess what? It has nothing to do with Samuel, but everything to do with the choices of his son. We're all born with choice. You could have done everything perfectly. There were going to be that because they have choice. They have choice. Now, sometimes there are things and mistakes that you made as a parent. You were not saved. You exposed your children to different type of lifestyles. And now that you have been, God has shown you the light and you're saved. Your children is still continuing in this way, or they've seen you live a certain way. And now you're trying to change, but they're going in a different way. But I hear God saying, just as I pulled you in, I will pull your children in. God says, stop worrying about these things. Stop worrying about it. God says, put everything in my hands. I hear the Lord saying that there is nothing you could have, could have, could do or could undo that would have changed their hearts. Okay. Because they're going to go in this direction. And I hear the Lord saying to simply begin to turn them over to me. You see, for you to think, well, maybe I could have done this or that. And while there is some truth to it, you had no power to lead your children to Christ. Could you have done something different that maybe they were not so, they don't curse? Well, you curse, so now they're cursing. Whatever it may be, yes. But to bring your children to Jesus Christ, that's a completely different, that's a completely different decision and arena altogether. And God is saying, even people who grew up in the most beautiful families where everything was perfect with all the money and everything they could ask for, they still turned from God. So it has nothing to do with it, but everything to do with the condition of their heart and where they are. So the Lord is saying, stop feeling guilty. Stop feeling upset. Stop feeling, how can I preach? How can I teach? And my son is doing this. How can I preach? How can I teach when I'm doing that? God is saying one thing has nothing to do with the other. It has nothing to do with it. Their behavior has nothing to do with how I will use you. Their rebellion has nothing to do with how I will use you. So go forward in my work and do not look back and do not allow yourself to be hindered. Do not allow anybody, especially your family. They know how your kids are. So now they want to say, well, how could you talk to me about God when your child acts worse than mine? That has nothing to do with what I've given you to do. God says, take yourself out of the equation. You are doing my job. You are doing what I've told you to do. So guess what? They can question you all they want, but what does that have to do with Christ and what I'm doing in you? God says, stop blaming yourself. Turn them over to me. Hand them over to me and trust them in my hands. Continue to show them Christ. Don't cuss them out. Don't get whirly. Don't get fleshy with them when they do things. At the same time, don't keep your mouth shut and allow them to run all over you, but let them see Christ in everything that you do. Be willing to pray with them. Stop punishing them. Stop doing things punishing, doing things against them because you negate me when you do those things. 
You're supposed to be a believer in a Christian. It does not mean you let them walk all over you, but you definitely don't engage in fleshly counters with them. That's not how it is. That's not what I want you to do. Trust me. Continue to obey me. Take heed to my words. God says, I have your children in my hands. Rest in me in the name of Jesus. This is the word of the Lord today. Be encouraged.